All right, guys. So uh, you saw there, I went and picked some ramps and morel mushrooms. I didn't get like a lot of like you know footage of that because you just don't want to watch me walking through the woods looking at the ground, right? So I figured I'd just kind of show you what they look like and all that. Ended up with a pretty good bit, so should be pretty tasty. Um, got a fire going already. Burning pretty good. I'm at a fairly local campground. You guys have seen me here before, uh, but you might not recognize it. But yeah, it's not too far from the house. It's a picnic table, fire pit, bathrooms, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, should be a pretty nice evening, really. Plenty warm out. It's 81 degrees. Definitely shorts, t-shirt weather. Definitely gonna need the fan to sleep because it's not gonna be very cold tonight at all, and it's not supposed to rain. So should be nice. Um, breakfast is gonna be the star of the show of this video, I do believe. But I do have a new ramen hack to try tonight. I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't believe, but stick around. Maybe let me know if you guys have tried this or not. And uh, well, it be tasty. Might do it every time now. But just gotta let that burn down a little more and uh, get to cooking. All right, these picnic tables are a touch small. Can't fit too good. But I think some of you know what time it is. Go ahead and guess down below. I'll give you a second. See who gets it. Well, do you know? Anyway, um, this one I've never seen before, ever. Never heard of it. Three Floyd's Zombie Dust Undead Pale Ale, 6.5%. I mean, the can looks pretty cool if you're in like horror stuff, zombie stuff. I like it. 19.2 um, ounces. Brewed and canned by Three Rivers. Three Rivers, Jesus. I plainly did not read Rivers. I don't know where that came from. Try again. Brewed and canned by Three Floyds Brewing, LLC, a Munster, Indiana. Huh. Pretty interesting. It's not normal. I feel like it's going to be strong. Zombie Dust is a pretty aggressive name. No idea where I even found that. I think I found this in PA as well. It smells like a normal... IPA. Oh. It's strong, but it's good. I like that actually for like an IPA flavor. It's not one you would want to drink warm. I don't know. It's like, uh, it's got that almost like pine flavor that IPA has, but it also has like a touch of sweetness to it for some reason. Yeah, it's not bad at all. If you're in the IPAs, I would give that a shot. It's uh, one of the better ones I've had. The aftertaste does not linger really bad. The bugs are bad around here. I hope you can hear that just buzzing everywhere. Excited for warm weather, not for the bugs. You guys heard me complain all winter how cold it was and dreary and just poopy overall, right? And uh, now I get to complain about heat and bugs, but I'll take it. Yeah, I would say on a uh, IPA scale, that's up there. It'd be at least like a seven. I've had uh, some pretty rough IPAs. I have to look in the three Floyds, see what else they make. But if you don't enjoy IPAs, I probably wouldn't try it because it tastes you know, like an IPA. Anyway, so the fire's been going for a minute. It's burning down pretty decently. It's a touch later in the evening now. I think it's, I don't know. I don't know what time it is. I didn't look. But I do know that it's cooling down a touch. And I think i got about two hours left. Not a complicated recipe for sure, but I definitely want to get some good hot coals in there to boil some water. But I think I'm about there. So I don't know. I'm going to try to whip this thing up, see what it tastes like. I can't get out. Too small. 
All right, I think I'm gonna start with boiling a little water because I do believe that it's gonna take a little time. So I'm just going with plain old beef flavor because I don't know what would actually taste right with peanut butter. I didn't see any like trend, I guess you could say. So beef, chicken, I don't know. It's, it'll work, they're cheap. Be a good way to try it out, see if I like it. Then I'll move on to some fancier ramen, I guess. I don't know, I still can't see myself liking this, but you guys know I'm down to try new things. So I'm gonna do this. I got some meat. I brought the ram some morels. Like that's mostly for breakfast, but I'm gonna put them in here because that is also tasty and I have plenty. I got some soy sauce, cheese, eggs, you know, some of your typical ramen fare. Um, I normally like a soft boiled egg in mine. I don't know I'm gonna go through that much hassle for this. In case I don't like it. You know, I don't want to ruin it. I don't know. Let's go ahead and start with the ramen and the meat. Alright, so some of you guys know I'm a pretty big fan of the Danos. I've not tried the crunch yet. But it says, where you go? That it's good on dip salads, veggies, eggs, proteins, and everything else, whatever that means. I do like this, like it's got the shaker hole and then it's got like an extra flap if you want to go like all the beans. I don't know. I think it's fairly heavy, like I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy, but I mean, it should be good on here. We'll find out. All right, I think I'm just gonna go with some of our rams straight into the meat. I don't get too fancy with these. I just kind of chop them off and go right in. Get some of the whites. That's really hot right in my face. Wow. And then add some green. Now we'll go with a few morels. Kind of cut down with the steak and the ramps. All right, got our ramen in our bowl. Now, I think I'm going to add, actually I know what I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add my cheese first. Kinda get that melting. So, and then, I'll put my egg on top of that. mushroom and a ramp mixture on top of that all right so that's gonna be the finished product without the peanut butter and this angle's terrible hang on let me move you a touch you can see me now so I want to try it as is before I wreck it with the peanut butter in case I don't like it So, you can't really tell. It's a little tiny baby morel mushroom. That's good. Steak meat is good. So, pretty good so far. I mean, they're just plain old beef ramen noodles. I mean, they're gonna be good. Way too hot. Should have done that. I should have waited like 14 more hours for that to cool down. All right. Well, I guess the only thing to do is try this peanut butter. Oh yeah, I didn't even get a bite with any cheese on it. Oh, another thing I want to do first. got last week I did a Nashville hot Philly chicken sub bogey I don't know a Philly with 
Nashville hot chicken, what I'm trying to get at. I tried this, but I tried it after I tried the Nashville hot, and I don't think it gave it like a fair shot. I want to try it again on its own. So, I want to give it a shot again, just to give it like a fair shot. I don't know, that's about what it tasted like last time, I think. It's not bad. About like any other, just like medium, original, regular old hot sauce. Excluding like Tabasco, because it's so vinegary. This isn't that vinegary, but it is like a little more vinegary than like, say, Cholula or, you know, whatever. Oh, try it on here. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I usually use sriracha on like ramen. Let's give this a shot. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with here. That's really not bad at all in there. Yeah, I don't know what I gave that last time. I feel like it was around the fives. I remember saying it was like medium five, yeah, good, whatever. But that is not bad at all for like a regular hot sauce that's not like you know, burn your tongue out. It's pretty tasty. I'd give that like a six now. I think I'd give it like a five. I don't know, probably like a six. I don't mind that at all. All the tabaneros I've had so far have been pretty good. I don't know that I have any more of them left, but I might. So look forward to that. You might see them. Plain old, creamy, smooth Jif, or I don't know, I think it's cream, whatever, Jif, peanut butter. It's probably cooled down enough by now where it's not even going to like melt into this like it's supposed to. Alright, I think I finally got it mixed in there. It took a second. But, see what we're dealing with here. I don't know. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But I don't know that I love it. I saw a lot of people mix it with soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna try it like on its own first. So I'm gonna try that. I think I'm gonna throw in a little sesame oil as well. I don't think it'll hurt it. And then, definitely going in with some hot sauce. way more than enough now I'll give it one more mix all right now let's see what we're dealing with okay so the hot sauce sesame oil soy sauce all that helped for sure uh, I don't know how I feel about it All the videos I watched, people like raved about it. Like it was the best thing. They do it every time, no matter what. I don't mind peanut butter, but I don't love it. So maybe that's why I don't love this. It's not terrible. I'll definitely finish it. Uh, I wouldn't do it again, I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. If you guys ever tried this, let me know. Maybe I just missed a step. The videos I watched, they literally scooped out peanut butter with a spoon, slung it in, stirred it, ate it, loved it. I don't know. If someone made it and said, hey, I put peanut butter in there, I'm not going to, like, not eat it. But to do it again on my own, probably not. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to drown it with some more hot sauce because I think that helped. Yep, needs a little more. Good.
All right, well, I think the only thing to do now is to hang around this fire a little bit. All the clouds are gone. I do believe. All the peepers are out, I'm sure you can hear those. Should make for a pretty nice evening. It's not supposed to be real windy or anything. So, should be not too bad. You know, I wouldn't say that I'm totally disappointed in that peanut butter ramen hack, but not necessarily pumped about it. But like I said, I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter, so I am pretty excited to see my mom's reaction when she watches this video. Some of the stuff I do on here, she uh, gets a little bit taken back, I'll say. But maybe I'll talk her in a try and see what she thinks. Yep. All right, so apparently I've been lied to because the weather definitely said no rain. I don't know if you just saw that little bit of lightning. But there's definitely lightning and some sprinkles. Definitely not. Let me catch it again now. All right, grill's warming up. Got a little butter going there. We're gonna start with some locally sourced white-tailed deer venison and some locally grown and canned potatoes going in. Now we'll go in with some ramps for the potatoes. So I think I'm gonna have a coffee while we let that cook down just a little bit. This is another one of those Bones Coffee Companies from last week I had. It was uh, supposed to be French toast flavored. It was not my favorite. But this one has some pretty cool looking artwork. It's like the last one. This one is Holy Cannoli. Cold to brew latte. 11 ounces. Bones Brewing Company. 210 calories. Just read it, I should know where they're from. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Did I not read it off last time? I thought I did. Yeah, Cape Coral, Florida. That's it. Now, I'm not real hooked for on this one. I don't even know what cannoli is or what it's supposed to taste like. I think it's some kind of like a pastry, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, that uh, is way better than the French toast one. I don't know how to compare that to. I don't know if I've ever actually had a cannoli. But that's not bad. It actually says serve chilled over ice. Maybe it'd be better like that. I don't know. Still not bad. I don't think ice would have saved the last one. I don't mind that at all. I would get that again. Uh, I don't know that I will. I mean, but um, I want to give the last one like a four or something. Yeah, that's definitely like a seven. And I think I got like two more of these to try. One's like s'mores. Like one's like a fruity cereal. It's like fruity pebbles. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I need to see what a cannoli tastes like and see if that's even close, but it tastes good to me. All right, so I got the deer meat back here, staying warm. Potatoes are crisping up pretty nicely. Mushrooms are cooking right along. And then all I have to do is the eggs. Yeah, just the eggs, be done. All right. You gotta admit, that does not look too bad. This is my favorite meal by far. So every year when this time comes around to pick ramps and morel mushrooms, I'm pretty excited. some fried potatoes definitely do that but these are more like home fries because they're kind of like chunky mushrooms are literally just like fried in some butter with salt and pepper that's it
You can do a lot of things with those, but sometimes just simple is the best. Now, this deer meat is what some people call the back strap or tenderloin. Some people just say loin. Some people just say deer meat. But that's what that is. That was fried in butter. I think that had a touch of salt, pepper, and garlic. Again, it tastes really good. You don't have to do anything too crazy with it. Especially knowing that I don't have it with the mushrooms. Definitely have some Tabanero original left. So I'm gonna try some of that on kind of everything here. I think this will be good on breakfast food. A little there, a little on some meat, a little on some potato. Should be pretty tasty. Yeah, that's not bad. I do not mind that. on the meat all right mess is all cleaned up finally You'd imagine there was stuff everywhere. Now I have a pile of dishes to do. But uh, this place does have restroom and shower facilities. So I do believe I'm gonna go take a shower, get myself cleaned up a touch, and maybe get out of here.